This is not the time of year when we expect 50s and sunshine. No. Nope. And uh, gosh, you just wanted to spend the whole time outdoors. It was so beautiful. Yeah. 43 degrees warmer today than a year ago. Wow. Today. Well, it's, last year it was I know. freezing. It was. It was so frigid last year. 11 degrees was the high a year ago today. We got up to 54 degrees in Indianapolis. Beautiful blue sky. Gosh, it was an awesome day. And here's a look at some of our Weatherbug Network high temperatures from Rockville. 57 degrees, 56 in Carmel. It got up to 55 at the our Indianapolis Weatherbug Network, 55 at Eagle Creek. Now we're starting to see this beautiful sunset across central Indiana. We had a great one last night, too. Hopefully you got to see that this evening, but uh, we are tracking just quiet conditions this evening with the clear skies, an area of high pressure going to keep us very clear and cool during the overnight tonight into tomorrow. Now, temperatures are going to start to fall rapidly now that that sun is setting. 47 degrees currently in Indianapolis. It's 45 in Kokomo, 47 still in Bloomington, and this evening we'll see clear skies, a light breeze out of the west-southwest, and temperatures will stay in the 40s before midnight, and then eventually will fall to around 33 degrees first thing in the morning. We will start to see more clouds moving in, so it won't be nearly as sunny tomorrow as it was today. Temperatures will climb to around 50 degrees as we get into those afternoon hours. It's going to be absolutely mild for this time of year. We'll take the cloud coverage with that high of 50 degrees, a light breeze out of the east. Now, as we get into the evening hours, more clouds will continue to thicken up and temperatures will stay mild as we get into Sunday evening. Now, this is the next system that we're watching out for. This cold front will push across central Indiana. It will trigger some rain on Monday. It's actually slowed down quite a bit from the past few days. So we're going to start to see this moving through on Monday. So we'll start off the work week on a wet note. So we'll take a little closer look here starting future track Sunday evening at 7 p.m. We will see the clouds increasing overnight. Temperatures only fall to around 40 degrees first thing Monday morning. As we get into Monday afternoon, we'll start to see the leading edge of the rain. It will continue to track across the area, not expecting a lot of heavy rain out of this. It'll be rather short-lived. However, it is going to be a breezy day with those winds out of the southwest, gusting around 30 miles per hour. Temperatures will soar into the mid-50s as we get into the afternoon hours. So here's a little wider look as we go Monday evening into early Tuesday. The rain will start to move on out of here and then we'll start off Tuesday on a quiet and dry note. So we are going to be tracking cooler air on the backside of that system. So taking a look at your forecast, high of 47 degrees for tomorrow afternoon. As we get into Monday, 56 degrees. It will be rainy. It will be windy with those gusts around 30 miles per hour. The system will start to move on out by early Tuesday morning. Tuesday will be a little cooler. It will still be breezy and it will still be mild despite we're going to be a little cooler, high of 46. Much cooler air starts to move in on Wednesday, so it's going to be a bit of a abrupt change by the middle of the week. Temperatures will struggle to climb to near 30 degrees Wednesday afternoon. Then we start to warm back up again. Already looking towards next weekend, mild temperatures again with highs in the low 40s. I'll take it. Yes. I like the mild mm -hmm. temps.